Russell, let's start with Willie Adamas. Your reaction to him going to San Francisco? Yeah, Roflo, I think you look at Willie Adamas and talking to people all offseason, Willie Adamas was a guy that a lot of people believe was the second best free agent in this year's cycle behind Juan Soto. You're mm. talking about a guy that had a monster year for the Milwaukee Brewers, a guy that's considered one of the best leaders in all of Major League Baseball. You talk to Pat Murphy, and he raves about who Willie Adamas is as both a player and a person. I know talking to Jackson Churio during spring training, he said the guy that's really had really helped him, you know, acclimate to big league life was Willie Adamas. His locker was right next to him. And so everything we saw from Jackson Churio as the year progressed and in the postseason, he credited Willie Adamas for that. And you have a guy that is big time power from the shortstop position, historically a really solid defender. I know the metrics say he took a step back last year, but I, I believe that that's going to take a step forward with Matt Chapman there on his side. That's a really yeah. good side of the infield row flow with Matt Chapman and, and now Willie Adamas. But I think you talked about it coming in. Buster Posey saying, hey, I am putting my stamp on this franchise, a franchise that he led to three World Series titles, and they might not be done. You know, I've been hearing the last week or so that Corbin Burns is a guy that they've been really interested in. You talk about the Giants, you're always going to talk about that starting pitching. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if they were able to land Burns, you're talking about a big time, uh, big offseason off for, for Buster Posey in his first year as president of baseball operations. When you talk about the Adamas, he had 32 home runs last season. Russell, this stat is mind-blowing here. The last San Francisco Giant to have a season that he hit in excess of 30 home runs was Barry Bonds in 2004. Yeah. Elaborate a little bit about what Adamas brings to this as far from a power perspective and to this Giant lineup. It's huge, Roflo. Like, that's crazy that Barry Bonds is the last 30 home run hitter in San Francisco, but it's the truth. And you look at the last couple of cycles in free agency, they missed on Judge, they missed on Manny Machado, they missed on Bryce Harper. All those guys would have been that middle of the order, big time power bat in the Bay. And they just haven't had that. Even when you go out there and they, they sign Jorge Soler a couple of years ago, it just didn't really translate. Now you have a guy entrenched at maybe the most important position on the field that has 30 home run power that can swipe 20 bags for you and be a presence in the middle of that lineup. And you know, I think what Willie Adamas is gonna be able to bring the, the, the Giants is, is a guy that is gonna go out there, play every day. He's yeah. gonna have big hits for you. He's gonna lead that room now, you know, as a guy coming in with the big time contract, but it's not just lip service with Willie Adamas. That's a guy that every day you're gonna get the same version of him. And I think the other thing for years, Roflo, what was the, always the, the thing we'd heard? It was going to be the Dodgers that ended up being the team that landed Willie Adams. Yeah. Even, you know, coming into this year, if the Milwaukee Brewers didn't play as well as they did, Willie Adams was going to be a guy that was on the market. And of course, the Dodgers needed him, you know, when Mookie went down with the broken hand. But the way the season turned out, the Brewers played really well. They kept Willie Adams. But this is really interesting now that you see the Giants, their NL West rival, be the team that landed.